Well, I think we're moving in the right direction, which is which is real positive. We had a, uh, a great showing overseas at the Premier 12. We finished top six in the world, which was really important. As a group, I think we got to play 17 games in 18 days, which Team Australia very rarely gets to do that. So we got to learn a lot about each other, about the systems that, that I've put in place and uh, the coaching staff, which will have a few changes this year. But um, really excited about the momentum we have. I really started to see a genuine belief amongst the players, a genuine belief that they're, they're capable of winning any game on any day. And for us to be you know, the best tournament team in the world, um, that just has to be part of the fabric and part of the DNA. And, and I think we have that now. I think we, we genuinely have a lot of guys that turn up expecting to win when they put on the green and gold. Whether it's individual or collectively as a team, anytime you have a big victory or a good performance, it really builds confidence and builds unity. And I think uh, when we beat Team Canada to get through that second round of the Premier 12, I think that's what you saw. You know, we turned up, uh, went back to Tokyo a few days later and had a real good showing against Team Japan. Didn't get the result we wanted, which was really disappointing. But uh, I think everyone saw on the world stage that we belong there and we fit there and uh, we're really close. We've had good performances in the past. You know, 2004, we, we beat Japan. Um, we performed well against Japan at the 17 WBC. So we've had some good performances. It's just, I, I think it's good to show the other teams that we're just gonna keep coming at them and keep coming at them, that we're not gonna go away, regardless of the turnover of the roster. Um, and again, as the head coach, that's, that's what I'm trying to develop, just trying to build on the strength that's already there and try to deepen the roster. So, as I said, every time we put on the colours and we're playing uh, whether a game against Doosan or Tokyo Dome against Team Samurai, that we really believe we're going to win, that we have the pieces to win and the other teams know that. On Team Australia, we, we very rarely get to do this. So, uh, it's great on a number of levels. It's great for our fans to be able to see them in our country, it's great for the kids to be able to see Team Australia, but it's also uh, really important for our players to, to be able to perform in front of their, their friends and family, which is really important to them, um, it really motivates them, and you know, hopefully we'll have a lot more of this down the track. Uh, it's just a great opportunity, you know, for us to be that, that team on the world stage, we need depth. And every time, uh, you know, an opportunity, whether through injury, unavailability, or um, performance issues, it's just another opportunity for someone else to step in and learn the culture and, and prove to themselves and prove to everyone in Australia that they're capable. So I think it's a great opportunity. Sure, you feel bad for the players that may, uh, lost, uh, may have lost their spot for the time being, but it's just an incredible opportunity for individuals, but also as a team for us to be able to build depth and for more players to know the systems we have in place and how we do things, that's really important. The older guys, the guys that have been around a lot and been on that big stage, get to spend some time in this environment with the younger players and, and teach them what we do. Anytime we can play a high level team, we expect to win and we want to win, we play to win, um, but it's just a great, a great learning experience and it's a great growing experience for the country. Yeah, I couldn't be more excited. First of all, you know, uh, Michael Collins in the big leagues and, and Andy Graham with his professional job, it's just fantastic that, that we had him for the time we had him, their experience. You know, but to, to have a couple of openings and, and to have the opportunity to call Graham and ask him to consider coming back and just help me on the bench, um, you know, that was exciting for me and I'm, I'm over the moon that he accepted that role and, and uh, you know, hopefully that'll go on for a while. And then, you know, I'm going to have Brooke, Brooke Knight coaching third base. He's been coaching overseas in Australia for almost 20 years now. He's, he's a winner. He's had a lot of success at different levels and he's going to just give me a new set of eyes and I look forward to spend time with him. And, hearing different takes on the game and, and trying to improve the environment. Yeah, it's, look, it's Team Australia, so you always want to bring in Australian coaches, you know, and and have Brooke, who's from the States, but he's, he's spent a large portion of, of his life over here the last 20 years. Um, for him to know the DNA of not just Australian baseball, but the Australian athlete, it, I wouldn't even consider it, consider it if I didn't think he understood everything about our players. Well, every time Team Australia plays, we play to win. It doesn't matter what the environment is. It doesn't matter whether we have, you know, the main guys we want. Um, we have a responsibility. It's, it's, it's supposed to be the best team in the country, so there is no grey zone. Um, you know, whether you're underprepared or, or totally prepared, it doesn't matter. So we're going to be playing to win, um, and the players will be every at bat, every ground ball, every pitch will be about trying to beat the other team. Fantastic, Dave Nielsen. Thank you for your time. Thank you.